So this message is for my ladies. And this is not even my typical topics, okay? But just because I experienced something as a woman, and I know we already talk about this, but all I'm going to tell you is, honey, baby, be protecting you and care about you and also value your temple. Do not be giving away your body. Do not be giving away your pearl, your goods. Because I'm going to tell you something. We know this, but I'm going to remind you that these men, a lot of them, the first thing they will do is degrade you. I was having a conversation with this stranger, this guy who's been interested in, you know, done wrote me a few, like about twice, but I, I'm not interested in them. So, you know, I have a conversation or whatever. Just having a conversation will tell you a lot about a person. So he ended up telling me about some young, young lady he went out on a date with. And the first thing he wanted to talk about when it came to her was how she gave it up in three days. So I was like, oh, I was like, no, you don't you mean y'all? I said, because that intimacy doesn't happen to her. That's, that's both of y'all together. So y'all gave it up in three days. You opened up them little chicken thighs too, baby. And he was like, oh, I guess. No, you did. And I know in the times that we live in, and it's always been like this where it's double standards, but I don't care nothing about the world double standards. Because to me, when you a man that sleep around, in my mind, the only thing I got the only thing I think is, oh, you got contaminated fertilizer. And that contaminated fertilizer will not touch now one of these eggs. Hmm. <laughs> and I'm and that is that on that. I don't care how the world live. Double standards my butt. I don't care nothing about that. Y'all better start protecting y'all self because the first thing they do will degrade you. And men, they, women can degrade you as well. You know what I'm saying? It can go both ways. But I always see this more with women. You see what I'm saying? You got to start protecting your temple. Don't be just out here sleeping around trying to sleep your hurt away because that's not okay either. Allowing these different uh, energies to mix with you and all this, it's, it's, it's not it. It's not it. Because they they, the first thing they do is talk about you. And you might say you don't care, but you should care. You should care enough about you. Because you was all you got, babe. You all you got, babe. And personally, you know, I have not been on a dating scene in like many years. Like many years. Of course, I have people that's interested or, you know, what we say, shoot, they're shot. <laughs> so, but other than that, it, I, I've been solo, man. Because I, I understand the time. I understand how, you know, the energy that's out here, the coming, you know, frequency that a lot of people live in is that that same low vibrational space man just you know meet this person y'all become lay up in the bed together and then it don't work then do it all over again it's you know no healthy bonding going on a lot a lot of time it's nothing healthy so you know i just stay on the sidelines because i already know what's up and you know some people always tell me well you know i gotta i gotta meet you in person so i can get to know you baby i can look at a picture of you and don't and know you that's how that discernment works. I don't have to go nowhere with you to, to know you. I can just have a conversation and the Lord will tell me everything right then and there. And that's straight up. And I mean, you know, just in the beginning, though, when you first, somebody first hit you up, you know, a lot of people, they, they first write you, they want to link up with you the next day. I just mean that I can talk to you and get an idea about you in the beginning right there. Like, I don't have to see you in person just to get an idea. That's what I mean by that. Of course, you want to, over time, if you're comfortable, you go out with people, see how they carry themselves in public, how they deal with other people while y'all are out and about. You know, that's, you know, that's the next uh, level. But just when a person hit me up, I don't need to go see you in person. I don't need to facetime you i can just have a conversation with you just to get an idea just because of your mindset and how you how you speak you see what i'm saying and just talking to that guy i didn't have to go meet him i just had a conversation let him be comfortable and talk that's fine just talk that's how i got to know exactly how he is and how he think you already with this woman and nick you on to the next person i'm not it i'm not it <laughs> you don't know diamond this ain't it for you babe this ain't it i give you some scriptures but you won't get nothing else. And you know how we be talking about like the walking dead. And it's like we waiting on this uh, big virus outbreak. And if you ask me, it's already here. It's all, We already walking amongst the, uh, the dead. Just spiritually dead, mentally, emotionally dead. You know, a lot of people don't know if they're going to come. And, you know, just trying to get that next high off of anything. Just trying to get that next feel good. It's already like that if you look around. It's no, it's like it's, when it come to genuine people, it's rare. When it come to people that's safe, that's it's rare. People that have your uh, best interests at heart, rare. You understand what I'm saying? And that's why when you somebody that's rare, you stand out. And that's why you know what I'm saying people come towards you because they it's not a lot of light, a lot of light out here. It's just darkness. But ladies, like I said, you know, fellas, this is for you too. Just to protect your temple, man. Just protect yourself. Stop. You all you got.
you all you got